Try to uh, change the capacitors inside these cans. They're all leaking. You can see wet, drippy oil coming out of here on most of these. And my plan is to take a saber saw with a fine tooth blade and saw right down below the seam all the way down through here and take these caps off and then heat them up take out the ex excess metal replace the capacitors and then put the caps back on I'll probably just glue the caps on at least that's the plan now before we start we'll take the tubes out and we'll put some protection here and uh, we're also going to have to uh, protect ourselves from that oil. I don't know what kind of oil is in here. It could be carcinogenic for all I know. So when we come back we'll see what happens. Well we got the top of one of these capacitors cut and it doesn't look too bad. You can see the uh, there you go, you can see the guts in there. A little messy. Here's the saw I'm using. Just an old Craftsman saber saw. So We'll continue on. Well, we got uh, got them all cut. Got the tops cut off, and um, I went ahead and removed the capacitor from inside this one. Here's the remains. <laughs> Some of them kind of peeled out, but uh, I just took the uh, needle nose pliers and uh, got a hold of them and I've got a couple of different pliers I I used on it but uh, it takes a while once you get a hold of it they just pull right out This one's going to be a little fun. But they eventually, uh, you know, come out of there pretty good. That one's going to give me trouble. Looks like the wire came out with it. But uh, hopefully I can solder onto that. And, uh, so we'll get these cleaned out and be back. Okay, we got them all cleaned out. As you can see. Got a nice mess down here. And we're going to have to take a file and go around here and deburr these. And then we're going to have to take these tops and we're going to have to get all the goop out of them and then try to uh, heat them up and get the uh, material that we sawed from around the lid there so we can put the lid back on. Well, we got one done. As you see here, I just Put the uh, lid in a vise, heat it up, and in just about three seconds, we got the inside of the lid out. Well, that was surprisingly easy. Here we are again. Um, I was concerned about the uh, these eyelets here if we could solder to them. But uh, just a little heat 
a little solder it stuck very well and looks very nice so that's going to work out good I think we're ready to uh, install the capacitors well we've got our uh, three capacitors in didn't take but a second we just cut the leads um, very short on one end and bent it over and held it down there while we soldered it and it looks pretty good now what we'll do here is join these three together and run them to ground solder them over here on the edge so we got the first one done got the lid on here Put a little solder over here on this side. And a little solder over here. The lid's a little crooked. But uh, I might be able to fix that. We've got the capacitors all done. They don't look too bad. Nine capacitors changed. The reason we did it this way is because there just simply is not room underneath that chassis to do it. And the alternative to this may have been to, to put a terminal strip, take these off and put a terminal strip across here. But a lot of these uh, a lot of the terminals on these capacitors are actually used for support or tie points for other wires. So there just was not any easy way to do it. Now we've got a few others to uh, take a look at. And we've got, uh, got one down in here and uh, one over here. down here and I um, really haven't decided how to do this I'd like to just take a torch and heat it up and pop the lid off but I've tried that once and basically the capacitor more or less exploded and the you know the oil came out the bottom and it made a really big mess uh, and of course it's flammable and uh, had a few fires to put out so that's kind of uh, risky. I'd like to find a better way to heat it up without a flame. It would take a really uh, hot soldering iron to get that lid off and I may uh, try to find a bigger uh, high powered soldering iron and try that. So anyway the old uh, 312 is uh, looking and sounding good. It really doesn't need the, those capacitors changed yet, so I may just not bother. I do need to get a couple of tubes. I've got uh, a couple of weak ones here in the RF section that need to be changed. I've got those on order. But as you can hear, it's still pretty hot. 